on the guitar which i think uh, is also very important as a guitarist whether you're playing mm -hmm. high live or you're playing jazz music whatever music you're playing uh, so you need to learn how to mute and it's not gonna be i'm not gonna take your time and if you're yet to subscribe to my video kindly click on the subscribe button down there and the notification button so you can get notified each time i upload any of my videos yeah so i'll just go straight to the point uh, muting on the guitar uh, is uh, very simple for me. This is my own personal way. I don't teach what I don't know. So some people can teach you another means, but this is the only way uh, in which I do my. So let's assume I'm on key F now. So and uh, let's say I want to mute. Okay, I'm just playing. Uh, you know, you're pressing all the chords right now. If you want to mute. It's as simple as just lifting up your finger from the strings okay you lift up your finger a bit from the strings you are still placing your hand on that same string but you are lifting up your finger a bit from it it's not as the way you are applying pressure before so you lift it up a bit and you strum. this one is not really doing anything it's just strum. if you have pressure here then if you relieve it so this is where the muting happens for me. So, so and, it, and it's very necessary, especially when you're playing some, you know, it can be rock, it can be high life, and you just need that uh, solemn and, uh, you know, I don't know, that kind of a feeling where you just have to... So let's say you want to... So you just want to give the drummer a groove. Come on, let's be like you're like, come on, let's go. So you want to give the drummer a groove. So you have, you want to do something like that. I'm just playing a F, but instead of pressing it down, I'm just placing my hand and just putting my hand, not putting any pressure. So it makes it, you know, gives it that sound that you really want. So so the other way is when you just press it down, but that's not muting anymore so you just relieve your hand and uh, that's all you need to know it's as simple as that yeah it's as simple as that. I know you be like, oh, this video is too short, but that's it's as simple as that. So let's say you want to play chord. You know, you don't want to play everything out loud. You don't want uh, you know, to be uh, very lousy. And uh, or let me say, you don't want it to just bring out all those uh, sounds, underground sounds that are usually, you know, sound some when you play. I say, Gidry, sometimes you, when you play, you hear some sound that you don't really want to hear. Like, like it's too loud. You just want something that is more composed. So you want. To... This does not sustain any. Uh, it doesn't sustain like So, so let's. Say... The thing is, you are not applying pressure to the court. That's all. So I, I hope this uh, video is helpful. Just go ahead, try it in whatever you do. You can use it to play either ten or. So and if you want it to sound, so you see the difference. So it's as simple as that. You can even use it to do some solo. You 
know, sometimes you just apply it in between your solo, and sometimes it can be caught. <laughs> So, uh, I hope this video is helpful. If you like this video, kindly subscribe, you know, share, and likes and comment. Uh, hope to get to uh, some of the other requests too. And hope to post. I'm hoping to post the video. So, all right, guys.